So tree map is again a very useful addition where basically you need one or more dimension as mentioned over here down there if you can see and uh, one or two meshes and if you have a lot of data points which needs to be uh, interpreted or it's very hard to interpret them in a table you can basically make use of uh, tree maps to clearly show it to your management about how the things are really doing within those data points all right let's go ahead and select uh, state and sales a very basic example and let's create a tree map all right as you can see very clearly uh, some of sales is indicating that where you are doing the maximum and where you are doing the minimum and accordingly a size has been given to each of the uh, each of the sections so california has been given with the maximum size because it has the maximum sales and then uh, at the end you have uh, North Dakota which has the sales just dollar nine twenty as it is mentioned so by default it has uh, created the space for each of these states it has chosen the color based on the sum of sales and uh, it has taken the range based on the range provided there in the sum the sales field all right let's do some adjustment maybe uh, we want to see the colors changing not based on sales but based on profit all right let's see it so where we are doing the maximum and minimum so for sure uh, sales is really high in Texas but very less profit so it's altogether a different interpretation from the same data and same visualization and same is the case with Pennsylvania so whenever you are building your story you can obviously show the maximum sales which is going on but with the help of the disc the profit you can show how you are really how your different states are really doing from the perspective of profit which gives a different flavor to your audience apart from this you can play around and see the colors by discount and now again uh, because the profit was less now it is very clear that because we are giving a lot of discount within the taxes, maybe that's the reason your profit is really less. Same is the case with Pennsylvania, all of those states where profit was less, that means the discount was really, really high. So that's how you can uh, easily build up your tree map and show your stories by changing the visualization and uh, making it more meaningful for your end users. Uh, the next thing I want to discuss is, uh, let's say, labels. So for example if i want to show profit as a label and now you have the perspective of sales discount as well as profit and if you want to show some other numbers let's say maybe um, quantity what you can do is put quantity over here so based on that you can keep on adding and uh, basically show multiple uh, measures but I would suggest as a rule of thumb to not show more than two or three at the max because it will be really, really hard for your end user to first of all see that how your chart is displayed that means based on sales and then the colors which is based on profit, then the discount, then the profit, then the uh, quantity and all of that thing. That means your the end user's mind will have to do a lot of work. However, visualization are meant for uh, very intuitive information. You are just seeing it and damn, you just get the idea of what I am really doing right or what I'm really doing wrong within my business area and where I need to really focus on. So I will just remove, let's say, quantity. Doesn't make a lot of sense. All right. With this three information, I think that should be sufficient for my chart and my chart is good to go. So that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video and I'll meet you in the new video with a new topic.